modular synthesis. Just arrived, perfect circuit, beautiful drive here. We're gonna go inside, check out some synthesizers, some Euro rack stuff, see what it's about. Pretty stoked to be here. So we were in there for entirely too long, but walked out with the Ghost and effects module. Pretty stoked to use it. And uh, yeah, the place is awesome. Like super awesome. I'm stoked to go back and check out more synths. They have analog synths, keyboards, Euro rack stuff, everything. So yeah, I'm super pumped. We're gonna get out of here and then let's talk about synthesis. Yes, this is the System 55. And let's get the elephant out of the room. No, it's not a Moog System 55. I am not that ballin'. This is the Behringer System 55. I got it at a ridiculously good price. And since I've decided to dive in on this Eurorack stuff, I wanted something big. I wanted a lot of modules. I wanted to be able to turn a lot of knobs and patch different things in and this was a great option. The best part is zero rack. So I can take things out, put new things in, and the whole bottom row is empty, which means I can fill it with effects. That's awesome. Now, let's be honest, there's a lot of back and forth on the Behringer stuff. I worked at Guitar Center for five years. I know Behringer used to be the worst quality ever. Some people love it, some people hate it. I think for the price, they've really made something incredible. Yes, it's a clone. I'm not trying to make it a Moog. If I wanna use a Moog, I have the Studio 3, I have a Sub 37. I wanted something to generate sounds on and this thing is going to be awesome for that. I think it's really great that they're able to make these incredible modules and synths and produce them at a great price point that now everyone can use and make music on. They didn't sponsor this. I bought this with my own hard earned money and we're gonna put it together. I think I'm gonna have to move all that stuff. Pretty sure we're gonna have to move the light, maybe up there, but we're gonna build it, put it together, put it here and make some sounds. Let's get this thing out of the box and talk a little bit about synthesis and why I'm even going down this road. See this, Peter McKinnon, Limited edition, super dope, all titanium. Woo! Thank you, Sweetwater. Candy. Look at that. It's already all in there. And then these, it's all open space that I could put effects modules and sequencers and oscillators and all sorts of things. That's oh. And number two, look at all those oscillators. So crazy, they took a Moog System 55 and put it in this tiny little case. I mean, those things are massive. If you haven't seen one, Google one. They're all right, so while I'm putting this together, I just wanna talk a little bit about synthesis and Euro rack. This looks pretty self-explanatory here. So 
there's a thousand videos on Neurorack and I am not going to act like I am the know-it-all here because I don't know anything about it. I understand synthesis and I love creating sound with electricity. I think it's really awesome. We gotta fix this. Oh, there we go, it's better. So I've been using the Moog Sound Studio 3 and it's honestly just been such an enlightening experience. The whole process of just connecting different modules together and it's only semi modular but the whole experience has really just been eye-opening and I'm using these techniques that I use on hardware synthesizers now in my software and it's really created a new appreciation for software synths and how I operate them and what I decide to modulate such as pulse width or what I decide to route together, just things that I would never do previously. I'd always just find a preset and tweak it a little bit and play something and then move on. But spending time with sound has really made me appreciate these instruments and the virtual instruments in a completely new way. So this is gonna be a really fun way to learn and dive even deeper into the process. So what is it about Eurorack? Why are people like really diving into it? I mean, obviously it's been a thing for a very long time, but why now are you seeing more and more of it? And I think the reason behind that is because you really have the ability to craft your own instrument. And no, by me buying this, I didn't really do that. I just kind of got something that's already in existence, but the best part is I can flip modules out and put new things in and just because it's known for doing one thing, this is modular. I can do anything with it. The possibilities for sound design are endless, especially depending on what types of modules I get for this. We already have the ghosts, which is going to be awesome in here. So I think having the ability to really create your own synth and cater to whatever style of music or type of sounds or things like that that you really like is what makes this so great. You know, you, you really have the option to make anything that you want and put any effect module, any reverb, any delay, just like you do with software, but in a hardware form. And that, that's something special. And here it is in all its glory. Look at that. You know, to get this amount of modules in the cases alone, I, this is, you know, this could be so expensive. But the fact that I have all of these oscillators, envelopes, like amplifiers, like there's a sequence here. There's so much that I can do with this. This is gonna be so much fun. Yeah, I'm stoked. So I think we gotta move that stuff. I am scared to know what it looks like down here. Holy power cables. Oh, this isn't gonna be good. Okay, you have to see this because do you, want to see what happens over years of just adding and adding that's a fire hazard waiting to happen we're gonna fix all that one step at a time here we got our lights back on now i'm going to connect one more of these power strips and i'm going to connect the sense and everything to one smart switch so that way i can just hit a button Turn them all on, easy. Okay, we've had a change in the program and I think this aesthetically looks a lot nicer. We're gonna put the Moog over here. We got 
everything connected, powered on. Got some more patch cables coming. Let's just hit play on this. I think everything's working. You get the point there, right? So everything's working on the Moog setup. Let's just test, I don't know, an oscillator or something. Let's just plug this in too. All right, we have sound. Excellent. And for right now, I haven't even really gotten a look at this thing. This is wild. So let's just go to a low pass filter and we'll go out and back into our mixer. This is sweet. So everything's connected and it looks rad. So again, I just want to take a second to talk about synthesis and you know, I think it's really just something unique and being able to sit here and turn knobs and push buttons and create melodies and different pitch and different rhythms and grooves is, it's just a different form of music making that I'm really excited to venture into and learn a ton about. And yeah, I'm really, I'm really pumped and I'm excited to see how I use this in production how I don't use it in production and just make sounds and how it's going to advance me forward in virtual instruments just by learning the technology and routing and things like that. Overall, I'm really stoked to be able to have something like this and it's going to be a lot of fun to generate sounds and melodies. So I'm going to get some other modules in here. I'm not going to go full module, full Euro rack on the YouTube channel, so don't worry. A lot of other great content coming out, the course is moving along. I'm just super, super excited and this is going to be a really exciting venture. Mm -hmm.